The Irishman presents as fact that Chicago outfit bosses stole votes here and put John Kennedy over the top for U.S. president in 1960. But that appears to be a JFK mob myth perpetuated by Hollywood and not supported by the Chicago facts. The Italians wanted Kennedy, the Irishman, for president. And that's what they got. The hit movie depicts Chicago mob boss Sam Momo Giancana toasting a Camelot victory, claiming JFK's father, the family patriarch Joe Kennedy, had actually met with Momo to engineer an election night win. The film shows Giancana in the back seat of a dark sedan, personally supervising a platoon of Chicago hoodlums roaming a local cemetery and scribbling down names from tombstones, then casting Kennedy votes on behalf of the dearly departed. So it was easy for the mob to help Joe Kennedy get his son elected president. That was easy. They just punched up the voter roll to make sure that he won in Illinois. Did the Irishman get it wrong? Yes. Chicago mob historian John Binder is a retired University of Illinois Chicago professor and Ph.D. who has studied the 1960 election and assertions that outfit vote fraud carried the day for John Kennedy. When you go and look at the evidence, it's just not there. There's no convincing or credible evidence that organized crime delivered for John F. Kennedy in 1960 around Chicago or nationally through uh, union members. The Irishman just goes along with the, uh, the standard extreme versions of conspiracy theories on this, that the mob pulled out the stops where they could, whether it was around various parts of Chicago or whether it was with union members nationally to get out the vote for JFK, and that that's what got Kennedy elected. According to Binder, there were no reported high levels of vote fraud, polling place intimidation, or violence by outfit thugs, although he says the movie and several mob books the past few years have rewritten a sexier version of history. Now it's treated as some um, undeniable fact by a lot of people. The new president was supposedly going to get Castro out of Cuba so our guys could get their casinos back. But Binder and other mob experts agree no Kennedy would have enlisted the mob's help in that kind of deal because Chicago organized crime was a top target of JFK's and especially his brother, soon to be Attorney General Robert Kennedy. Conspiracy theories have a certain recipe to them. You must put in two cups of the Kennedys. You must put in at least a big cup of the mob. If you can put in a couple of tablespoons of Marilyn Monroe and a half cup of Frank Sinatra, so much the better. According to Binder, there simply was no mob deal to get JFK elected. The mob-backed Teamsters Union at the time was backing Richard Nixon, but Binder says there is no evidence of gangland kneecap squads threatening Chicagoans to cast votes for JFK. If you go look at the four major daily Chicago papers that were there at the time, there's not a single word about any violence, about any one act of violence directed towards voters. And then there is this, the data in this white paper Binder formulated, documented, and published 13 years ago, more than a decade before the Irishman film. The 1960 Chicago ward results do not show unusual Democratic increases for president as a result of outfit influence or anything else. They could deliver when they wanted to. They just didn't want to for JFK. Well, it certainly um, makes a better story to say that organized crime in Chicago won the election for JFK. Yeah, that's why some of these um, claims are so fascinating. They're the ultimate conspiracy theories. They were so powerful, they elected a United States president. There was another mob mistake in The Irishman. Details on that now at abc7chicago.com. This movie that looks at the fall of ex-Teamsters boss Jimmy Hoffa was largely lifted from a book. The book author and the movie screenwriter both declined to be interviewed for this report, as did director Martin Scorsese and actor Robert De Niro. Chuck Gowdy, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.